Average your best cornhole. We're back again today. Today we got some dragon bags. Dragon bags, uh, it's ran by a guy. He's uh, very respected, very well known in the bag making community. His name's Maddie King. And today we have two series for them the Power Dragon and the RNA. And we're going to try to compare them because. On the website, they're both listed with similar speeds. They, the bags are a little different, yep. and uh, we enjoyed playing with these. Yeah, so we plan on uh, you know, discussing you know, the designs, the costs on these bags, ways to save money, you know, how we're finding discounts on these bags, and as well as you know, our experience with them. So our scores on the design of these bags, uh, we're scoring them both a two, right? You yeah, know. two bagger. Yeah. yeah, just you know, just par for the course. Nothing crazy. It's just the company logo, which it's not a bad logo at all. So you know, nothing there. It's just nothing's jumping out. You know, screaming at us. And and also, once you go to the website, I mean, there's not a whole lot of variety right. of designs yeah. either. I mean, they're basically all the same with yeah. a few different color combinations, different colorway patterns, stuff yeah. like that. And again, it's a decent looking bag, but you know, doesn't pop out. You know, have a super cool design that you can show off. You know, like some of the other ones. Availability for these bags, they are not readily available. Right. I, I don't know, it's, it's how the company works. It seems like there's drops frequently, but they must not be large amounts of drops, and you got to make sure to get there because they do sell out fast. And I was even looking for the RNAs on the website recently, and they're not even listed there. No. And I mean, they, they say when they're going to list the Power Dragons on Facebook and whatnot, but like I said, you got to get there and you got to order them because they are selling out. But the good thing about that, though, too, is if you get in on the order and you order a bag you know it's going to come fast right, right. yeah if a company just lists a bag and then they're like made to order or whatever then you get away from them make it so i guess that's the only good thing about these small drops like that when you do get the order on you're gonna yeah. get the bags pretty quick yep yep yeah those came quick so to rate the cost of these bags uh they're gonna three bagger for me at retail but using codes a three and a half bagger uh, these are right there in the middle. I think uh, retail is eighty three fifty for each of them, which is a very decent price. And then you add ten percent or yeah. even twenty five percent off. I mean, it, it's it's a good price for a set of bags. Yeah, yeah. The deals are out there for those right in the middle of the pack under hundred bucks, which we love. So yeah. And we'll get into discount codes a little bit later. Yep. yep. I just wanted to let you know that that they are out there. Yeah. So to touch on dragon bags a little bit more, like I said, uh, Matty King, he, he's been in the cornhole game for a while. He's uh, very respected, very well known. Uh, I heard on podcasts, I believe, that uh, he did merge with someone else or someone partnered with him. So that was like the big resurgence of Power Dragon. Uh, they created a new logo. They started making these new series. So they have been around a while, but it's morphing into a different company, I guess would be a way to say it. Yeah, we'll find out, but um, but the you know all the information you know they have their website dragonbags.com. Uh, they have three Facebook groups, right? The official group. Well, the, there's a Facebook page, like everybody has right, their company right. page. Yeah, the company page. There's two different Facebook groups that you can join. Yeah, one is you were saying ran by the owner, and the other one's actually ran by a sales rep. And um, yeah, and uh, we'll get the exact. Uh, group names for them right. but i believe it was uh dragon bags fan group but then the other one's dragon bags co yeah. discounts and updates or something or whatever we'll make sure to clarify that for yeah. you yeah. but there is multiple and uh that the one with the discount that's where you get in and you find these discount codes so check it out all right so these bags i actually broke these ones in we just uh did the you know the the old uh, vinegar and, and warm water and then uh, tumble dry and low and it seemed to do a great job for both of them the rna did take a little bit longer to break in i had to throw those you know quite a bit right out of the, you know the break-in method the uh the power dragons felt great ready to go yeah that's that common material combination which we'll get into later and yeah. it doesn't need a whole lot right right so the speeds on these bags um Started digging into it. We have our opinions on the bag, but I got super confused with these RNAs. Yeah. So I go to their website. He has a speed chart. I believe they are listed as a 6.9 on the main speed chart. And then you go into the description of the bag, and it says a 5-6, 7-8. And then there's a picture of the bag, and it has like 6.9 on it. And then there's another picture of like a comparison, and it was 6.8. So there was like four different speeds for this bag listed on the website. We think they're seven nine. Yeah, seven nine. <laughs> yeah, 
you know, what I experienced with them. Yeah, it's, it was extremely confusing now. Yep. And then the Power Dragons, they're rated at 6.9, which I do believe with that. I mean, yeah. that's the common materials. All right, so just given the materials, um, your traditional Viper clone with these, you know, Viper fast side, Viper carpet side, you know, plays, you know, very comparable with the speeds and everything. The uh, RNAs, they have, uh, you know, again, the Viper fast side. And then, but this is uh, the genetic, you know, uh, what's it called? They just call it a genetic material. Yeah, so it's printed on it, so you don't think it's a carpet bag. Looking at it, it, it looks like a little mini mini herringbone almost, um, but it's not quite as fuzzy and stuff. So it, It's unique. I don't know if it's a hybrid carpet, a non-carpet, a carpet, you know. They just so. call it a genetic material. Genetic so. material, so <laughs> nonetheless. Um, it's a genetic that's, material. That's what they are, you know. <laughs> And then the templates on these bags. So uh, we did say this is a material clone of the Viper Art, but it's a lot smaller. I mean, these, yeah. these to me are medium small bags, right? Uh, five and five eighths wide. Uh, so the Power Dragons are like a sixteenth thicker than the RNA. The RNA just feel light and flim, uh, yeah. thin. It feels thin when I'm throwing. Yeah. more than sixteenth of an inch. Right, and, and then even lighter, it feels lighter too, but we weighed them, and they both weighed about the same, so they were right around that 450 gram mark where, you know, most bags are. Right, right. Sometimes bags just feel, play differently. Yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, the, the fill on them, from everything I saw and everything, you know, feeling them, it, it just seems like it's a lot of flat fill, maybe a flat fill mixture. And, and that could be where the uh, the thinness of that is. If the flat fill mixture is a little different yeah, than the different, power drive, ratio, it's going to yeah. weigh the same, but you know, smaller, thinner beads. It's going to be a little bit flatter. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, bagmanship on these, um, it's pretty good. Um, it's not bad, you know, but we've seen better. I mean, you can see in the bag we have up here. Um, I'm always looking at you know the tie offs on the seam and everything, and we do have a few loose ones on the RNA. Don't see as many on the uh, the dragon bags uh, or the power dragons. But, uh, you know, overall, it's still really good. They held up. These bags have been thrown a lot, and they've been thrown outdoors on gravel in a garage, um, and they've held up well. You can see they probably look a little dirty here because, you know, we've, we've actually thrown these quite a bit. Yeah, and we're nitpicking. I mean, it's, yeah, it is it's what we're here for, right? right yeah. It's a great bag. Like I said, Matty King, I mean, he's very well respected. And that probably doesn't happen often. It just right. it happened on that one bag for us, so we're going to point it out. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, overall, there's nothing quality-wise that should discourage you from purchasing these bags. Mm -hmm. On to the slide-up. Um, as always, we're going to start with forgiveness on these. I felt like the RNAs were a little bit more forgiving than the Power Dragons. Like I said, they hit the board, they flattened out, they ran straight. They actually played really well. Yeah. Uh, the Power Dragon... I don't want to say a lot. I mean, there was a couple unnecessary kicks or whatever, but I was able to cut the heck out of that bag. Yeah, it felt yeah. like, you know, my normal throw had a cut. I figured that out very soon, yep. and I, I played it to my advantage. It, it, I mean, it was forgiving too, uh, but there is a little bit more action to it, and that's just because of slow side material. Yeah, I, I agree completely. These are great for sliding the hole and stuff, and you can get a little cut. You know, I was getting a little cut on those and stuff, but what I will say is some of our weaker throws that were throwing this with us, you know, they were, you know, the kids were liking these a, a lot. You know, they were, they felt more consistent for them. And, you know, he wanted to play with them and stuff. Speed consistency on these bags, Power Dragons, I mean, here we go again. It's a, that same material combination. We all know that's consistent. We all know it plays consistent. We all know it's going to be consistent in humidity conditions. So the, the thing about this is we've always heard, you know, you dirty a bag up, scuff it up or whatever. So we try to sweep the floor in the garage where we yeah. play a lot. Yeah. But it wasn't when we were recording, it was probably the last time. We like to bring the bags out, have everybody throw them, break them in a little bit more. Yep. They got so dirty. They were filthy. And it got, I mean, they slowed down, yeah. right? Yeah, Big definitely. time. Yeah. It really, really slowed down. So if you want it to slow down, do that. If not, yeah. clean them. You know, we're going to give them a wash. We haven't washed them yet, but, right. we, you know, we, we were thinking, hey, we got them dirty. We're going to talk about them being dirty, so we yep. may as well keep them dirty for this. And uh, it wasn't like mud dirt, it was just garage floor dirt. Yeah, yeah, just mostly dust and debris and stuff. But those uh, Power Dragons, uh, I forget where we were at, but we were throwing those on gravel one night. Mm -hmm. And I'd imagine hitting the gravel and stuff, that's really, you know, kicking up them fibers and slowing yeah. that bag down quite a bit. And the RNAs, they were, they were very consistent, but they were fast, you know? Yeah, and the dirt, 
didn't seem to affect them like no. they did to the Power Dragons. No. They they actually stayed consistent. Yeah, and honestly, you know, going back to what I was saying before, I wasn't sure what class that ge- genetic fiber is, but I did play those in a little humidity one night, and they didn't slow down terribly bad. Oh, know? that's good. Yeah, it, it, they slowed down a little bit, but not as much as you see a lot of time with an on carpet bag. So that was pretty cool. All right, so the capable shots, uh, like Craig said, you know, you, you, if you like a cut shot. You're going to be doing that all day with the, uh, the Power Dragons. Uh, the RNA, that's that's your hole for hole. You know, if it's open, that's the bag that's going to you know slide up the way you want it to every time and, and just nail the hole. As far as rolling, you know, I I can't roll back, so to take this with a grain of salt. But I definitely can't roll the RNAs. They're just too thin. They just don't seem to want to just get that roll yeah, effect going. They hit the board and they like to just flatten out and slide. If you on the purchase board. those, you're not purchasing them for, roll. For sure, so. for sure. And then the Power Dragons, I mean, blocking bag, yep. it was a great blocking bag, and it was a great collect bag. So yes. if you want to play like that block, collect, or block, replace, mm-hmm. uh, that's a bag for that for sure. And then cut even block, and then cut around your own block, and yeah. then clean it up on the last one. Yeah. Uh, I really liked how active those bags were. Because yep. I was throwing RNAs first this last time when we were recording, and then I got to a game where... You know, I got to throw the power drags. I'm like, all right, yeah, this is this is what I like. This yeah. is I'm back you to made the comment as you're throwing it. Like, this is my style. Of <laughs> yeah, so I really enjoyed those power dragons. Yep, the whole bodiness on these. Um, I had a good experience with both of them. They do both like to go in the hole. We kind of had different opinions, I think, on the RNA as far as collectible. Um, I thought they collected really good for me, and I think you had some troubles with it. Yeah. It, the whole bodiness on the bags, like you said, you know they're both good. If if I had to grade one a little bit more than the other, I'd give the edge of the Power Dragon. That's yeah. my personal opinion. I know the RNA. Uh, I remember one specific shot for sure. There was a blocker up in front of the hole. I stepped out to the left. I threw my shot. I saw the corner go over the hole. And typically for me, that's one that catches it and swings all the way around, but it didn't. It just yeah. went right over across, and I was surprised. Yeah, that might have been the the speed a little bit faster so you just had a little more movement couldn't grab right and yeah and that's probably yeah the speed of that bag but i felt like when i threw that bag i thought it was going to go in and it didn't it disappointed me a little bit yeah so my overall rating on these bags i'm gonna give the power dragon a three bagger and the rna a two and a half bagger i, I like the power dragons that's my favorite uh, material combination it's not like I, I would choose another one over that, but if I went to a blind draw and someone said, hey, I got these power dragons, you throw this, yeah. I wouldn't be disappointed. I'd throw them. The RNAs, like we said earlier, they're just a little too thin, too light for my liking, and maybe a little too fast. But it, it wasn't a bad bag, so I don't want to grade it low because I would, again, if someone came up and said, hey, would you throw these bags in this blind draw, I'd be like, yeah, I mean, that's a good bag. Yeah. Yeah, my scoring is pretty much exactly the same. You know, you got your standard Viper clone, just a little bit smaller template, which I actually like the smaller template personally. But uh, and then also two and a half on RNA. I really wanted to score them higher. They just need to be a little. If they were a little bit more full and uh, just a, like one speed notch slower, <laughs> they would have been perfect. Yeah, I, I really had to adjust my throw on yeah. those RNAs and really bring it up more. I remember that's yeah. yes, and then but I don't like that because now I'm throwing sky high and. Yep. Yep, you were it, too. You yeah, were it, it, I mean, I did. I made it work, it but did. it wasn't my normal throw, so that's why it gets a half bag or less than the Power Dragon. Yeah. Are these bags worth the cost? Uh, to me, they are. Yeah, um, I mean, a Viper clone under hundred bucks. You know, well under hundred bucks. You can't go wrong with that. That's a fantastic bag. It's going to do everything you need to, especially if you're a more experienced player. Definitely worth the cost. Mm-hmm. Um, these are kind of unique. You know, we haven't seen bags just quite exactly the same as this RNA, so I think the uniqueness, you know, makes it worth the cost. Again, well under 100 bucks. Um, if you're just looking for a good bag to go hold a hole with and, um, you know, maybe a little bit more creative, you know, it's a good bag for that as well. Yeah, he says well below $100. I mean, with that 8350 retail price and then the discount code. So we'll list some discount codes for you. These are ones that we found, but like you said earlier, get it. Go into that Facebook yeah. group, you'll probably find more. So all day, every day, you can get 10% off. There is a 10% off code for these bags. But they have something special, and it's a different code for a first-time buyer. So if it's your first time buying on the website, you get 25% off of up to two bags, your very first purchase. So 83.50 minus 25%, and then you buy two of them, I and mean, you're getting two bags for what, under $150? Yeah. 
for great quality bags. Yeah, too. yeah, absolutely worth it. Check them out. Go get a set. All right, will these bit bags make you better? Again, no bags really going to make you better, but you know they're going to help lead the way. Um, and I think both of these will do that. Um, again, the the RNAs are great. You know, bag for going. You know, just hold a hole with. Um, so if you're just trying to learn how to do that, it's a good option there. And you know, again, the Power Dragons pretty much check all the boxes. So they're not going to make you better, but they're not going to make you worse. Couldn't have said any better myself. Uh, and then it gets us right into do we recommend these bags? And we recommend these bags, uh, especially the Power Dragon. Yeah. How unique it is because it's that, you know, Viper R clone, which every company has those, but it's smaller yeah. than all the others. This is the smallest one I think I've felt, yeah. right? Yeah. And then that's unique. And if you haven't played with a smaller bag like that, you might want to give it a try. And then the RNA, like you said, I mean, that genetic material, whatever that is, or you might yeah. start seeing that elsewhere or whatever. Uh, it, it was a good bag. It's just thin and light, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I actually prefer the Power Dragons over the Vipers simply because that, that slightly smaller template I prefer, and it makes it feel just a little bit fuller. And these are very broken in, so they haven't gotten over floppy, and that's where uh, I kind of lose a bag. So. Yeah, it's true. These bags are beat up. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're still full. They're worked, and they, they have a great feel to them, the Power Dragon. So I absolutely recommend uh, both of them. So we just want to end this with uh, everybody's average or something. If you're going to be average, you may as well be average at Cornell.